Tory voters approved Medicaid expansion in the state, but the legislature did not fund it. Now the issue goes to court this week. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts here in the studio to explain what happens next. Jordan. And tomorrow is a very big day in Missouri. The hearing on Missouri's Medicaid expansion lawsuit was set for Friday, but the nation's new Juneteenth holiday had the courts closed, and that means that big hearing is happening tomorrow. Last August, 53% of voters in Missouri voted in favor of Medicaid expansion. It allows anyone from 19 to 64 years old to be eligible for Medicaid. There's only one income requirement. You must make less than 138% of the federal poverty line. For a single adult, that means under $18,000. For a family of four, it's about $37,500. But under the Affordable Care Act, the federal government did agree to pay 90% of the cost when it comes to expanded coverage. The state of Missouri would be left to pay that 10, left over 10%. But last month, the General Assembly declined to provide funding and the legislative session ended. So a lawsuit has been filed saying you you need to follow through on what the Missouri voters ordered you to do. They set the direction for this and you have to follow their instruction in the uh, state uh, in the attorney general's argument is basically saying no we don't have to because it's up to us to make the decision about the appropriation of money to pay for it. I hope that judges would try to give a lot of weight to the idea that the votes of the people should count for something. That if the people of Missouri, put, and Missouri is a, you know, a, a conservative state, but nevertheless, they did pass this measure that they wanted to expand this. Three Missouri residents filed a lawsuit against the state to push the expansion forward, but the, it's the matter of it settled in court. Thousands of people will be left without health care. The goal of the lawsuit is to get Missouri to expand the program and allow newly eligible people to enroll starting July 1st. In the studio, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. Jordan, thank you. MoDOT is warning drivers about some lane closures on 435. It's part of the process to replace the 67th Street Bridge. MoDOT plans to close the southbound right lane of 435 at 67th Street weekdays from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. through Friday. Bridge itself closed in April. MoDOT hopes to have a new one in place by the end of the year. Starting this week, the Unified Government's Health Department says it will launch a COVID-19 vaccine and testing incentive program for Wyandotte County. Now, anyone who lives in the county or goes to get vaccinated at a health department clinic is eligible. On Friday, the county announced some of the gifts and prizes that they're making available to people. For adults who live in the county, the health department will draw three names each day for a $500 Visa gift card. For residents age 12 to 17, the health department is giving away passes to Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun. Also available to that age group are dinner and game passes to Dave and Busters. You may see extra military families at Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun if you go there today. The group Heroes Among Us says it wants to help reinforce the bond between veterans and families without them having to worry about paying for items. The group is providing tickets as well as food and soft drinks. Now, both Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun open at 11 a.m. Oceans of Fun closes at 6 p.m. and Worlds of Fun closes at 7 p.m. Taps at the Tower returns to the National World War I Museum and Memorial tonight. This is video from a couple of years ago. The museum recommends that you have a picnic, play games, and also enjoy the outdoors during the day. Then taps will be played at sunset every night this week. Tomorrow afternoon at 2, the museum says it will have a live stream jazz concert on top of the tower. The museum also has jazz on the lawn Saturday evenings. Tickets are required. Only limited tickets are available right now, and they cost about $175. Friday night at 6 o'clock, the Kansas City Symphony will play on the southeast lawn. There's no charge for that event. Liberty is giving people a chance to experience music tomorrow. It's called Make Music Liberty. Organizers say more than 40 local musicians will perform at various places. Performances start at 10 o'clock in the morning. They wrap up around 9 tomorrow night. You can find more information at their website, makemusicliberty.org. And if you want to perform, you have a few chances to do that as well. At 1 p.m., the KC Women's Music Network will have a sing-along event that's at Rotary Plaza. At 3 p.m., there's a harmonica performance. It's a tutorial and play-along event with free harmonicas available, and that's at the First Presbyterian Church Park Gazebo. Then at 6 p.m., there is a drum circle play-along event with free drumsticks available. That's also at Rotary Plaza. 
UMKC alum hopes to get a second shot at an Olympic medal this summer in Tokyo. Steeplechaser Courtney Ferrix is competing in the Olympic trials. Now she has been training at high elevation in Park City, Utah. Ferrix placed 11th in the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. She talked about the impact of having an extra year to train. You know, I actually think I really learned a lot last summer and and yeah, I set a lot of like non performance goals that I think helped me become a better athlete and um, just really learned to fall in love with the process of training again. Now she's scheduled to compete in the steeplechase tonight at 835 and 41 Action News is the place for you to watch all of the Olympic action this summer. Remember, it all begins Friday, July 23rd, right here on your 41 Action News station. We're tracking some showers, some thunderstorms, a cold front. Some areas still need rain, some do not. We'll look at the new data coming up. It's about time to watch on your time. Not just when news is on air, but streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can stream on this, or this, or maybe even like this. At this time, or that time, or any time. 41 Action News. It's about time we fit into your schedule. Streaming local news 24-7. Search 41 Action News on your device. A little boy with a bright future ahead of him. Gone, but never forgotten. The bill named after this KCK boy is now law. Demanding his legacy remains alive. It's the result of several 41 Action News investigations. Making sure this never happens to others. This is why we follow stories like this. You have no idea how much it's meant to me to have you stand by me, you know? To give the voiceless a voice. It starts with a plan and getting out the door on time. Every day, we're helping you start your morning. Good morning, welcome back to 41 Action News today. With the news, military national guard, and conversations that hit home. Rich with the forecast to plan your day. Storms start to develop. A smooth commute. Plenty of extra time. Your next new job. They need you. And with something fun that is true KC. How are ya? It's the best way to start your morning. 41 Action News today, 4.30 to 7 a.m. Great with cupcakes. Coffee? That's right. It's two great things put together. Just like friends and two broke girls. Ta -da! Now that I see it, I have to have it. And you'll have to have Kansas City's favorite late night delight. Okay, I'm trying that. My willingness to eat anything finally pays off. Save room for coffee and cupcakes with friends and two broke girls. Watch weeknights starting at 9 only on 38 The Spot. Well, guess what today is? It's Father's Day, and hey, that's a familiar face you may recognize. It's just right over to my right. That's Jeff Penner and his dad, Stan Penner. Happy Father's Day to both of you gentlemen. And happy Father's Day to all of you out there who are watching as well. So hopefully, Jeff, well, it's going to be nice today for all you dads out there. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, I just want to wish my dad happy Father's Day. Thanks for putting up with my weather talk nonstop and letting me pursue my passion, which is the weather. And why are we standing at train tracks? Because his grandson, my son's obsessed with trains, and he came out uh, a couple weeks ago. So <laughs> putting up with that too. Now outside today, we are gonna get up to 95 degrees. It's gonna be another hot day, another humid day, but a strong cold front is on our doorstep, sort of. We'll talk about that coming up. Could reparations be a reality in America? Mayors across the country, including our own Quentin Lucas, are working on making it a reality. A closer look at their plan next. It's about time to watch on your time. Not just when news is on air, but streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can stream on this, or this, or maybe even like this. 
at this time or that time or any time. 41 Action News. It's about time we fit into your schedule. Streaming local news 24-7. Search 41 Action News on your device. A little boy with a bright future ahead of him. Gone, but never forgotten. The bill named after this KCK boy is now law. Demanding his legacy remains alive. It's the result of several 41 Action News investigations. Making sure this never happens to others. This is why we follow stories like this. You have no idea how much it's meant to me to have you stand by me, you know? To give the voiceless a voice. It starts with a plan and getting out the door on time. Every day, we're helping you start your morning. Good morning. Welcome back to 41 Action News today. With the news. Military National Guard. And conversations that hit home. Rich history. With the forecast to plan your day. Storms start to develop. A smooth commute. Plenty of extra time. Your next new job. They need you. And with something fun that is true KC. How are ya? It's the best way to start your morning. 41 Action News today, 4.30 to 7 a.m. And you know what goes great with cupcakes? Coffee? That's right. It's two great things put together. Just like friends and two broke girls. Ta-da! Now that I see it, I have to have it. And you'll have to have Kansas City's favorite late night delight. Okay, I'm trying that. My willingness to eat anything finally pays off! Save room for coffee and cupcakes with friends and two broke girls. Watch weeknights starting at 9, only on 38 The Spot. Six fourteen. Welcome back, everyone. Kansas City's mayor is one of several city leaders across the country who want to do more to bring equity and equality to African Americans. Forty One Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson tells us the work Mayor Quentin Lucas plans to do. We are here to make a difference. That's Kansas City Mayor Quinn Lucas is doing more than just making the rounds at Juneteenth events across the city. He's working with 10 other mayors from big city Los Angeles, California to small town Tallahassee, Oklahoma to pay reparations for slavery to African Americans in their cities. It's not taking already existing, let's say, tax dollars in Kansas City and just spend them on a whole bunch of folks. Instead, it's saying as money is coming into the cities, particularly through federal programs and federal grants, how do we make sure we're doing it and spending it in places where it can make the biggest and longest term impact. The reparations in each city could look different, but all mayors are committed to turning words into actions. The effort comes as Juneteenth, the day marking the end of slavery in the U.S., is recognized as a federal holiday. I think more than anything, we say that we did wrong and we can do better. In every city in America, we can do better. Since 1989, lawmakers in Congress introduced a bill that would form a commission to study and develop reparations proposals, but it's never passed. In 2020, California became the first state to set up its own reparations commission. Now the mayors organized for reparations and equity are working to move things along. We've all committed to making sure that we support the House resolution and also making sure that we actually are working together to see if money comes. How do you how do you have similar ideas for how you can help your community? For Kansas City, Mayor Lucas says reparations would look more like investments and not individual checks to certain groups. Reporting in Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. Mayor Lucas says the group of mayors interested in starting pilot programs will meet through Zoom to talk about the next steps. Here's your latest Kansas City forecast from meteorologist Jeff Penner. Good Sunday morning outside on our community builders of Kansas City Skyview. Looking over the K, if you're taking dad out to the game, well, it's going to be hot. It's a 110 start and it'll be hot in the wind will be blowing out, so pitchers beware of that. 76 degrees, two hundredths officially at KCI last night. Some locations had seven inches of rain last night. I'll show you that here in a second. Dew point 68, it is humid outside. So we were tracking thunderstorms to our east and to our west last night. The ones to our east 
move northwest and that one storm west moved northeast. And so pretty much missing Kansas City. We got clipped by some of those thunderstorms. Now there's one little wave of sprinkly showers that will move by and then that will be it for the day. But this is not the cold front. The cold front arrives tonight. Talk about that in a second. So here is the rainfall the last 24 hours. Almost seven inches of rain southwest of Moberly. Five inches of rain southeast of Chillicothe. Trace in Kirksville. Trace in St. Joseph. Two inches in Maryville. So there was a band to our north and east. They got some beneficial rain. Too much of a good thing though in this area. And then Olathe, nothing. There's been a trace of rain in many parts of Olathe this month. So we need some rain in all locations. There is going to be a chance for some thunderstorms with the front, but as far as like getting widespread rain, it doesn't look great. I'll show you the new data here coming up. Right now, there is widespread rain, beneficial rain in Kirksville, north of Trenton. Thunderstorms up near the Iowa border. And then here is our lingering shower activity that'll move through in the next couple of hours. Then it'll become mostly sunny, hot, and humid once that goes by. And so for today, we're looking at around 95 degrees. Cold front on our doorstep, 72 in Valentine, Nebraska. And that'll be moving on by. Now, what about rain and thunderstorms? Well, at 5 p.m., hardly a cloud in the sky. It'll be breezy, hot, and humid. And then you get to around 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's when the thunderstorms could form. A few of these could have some hail or gusty winds. But then watch what happens after 9 p.m they kind of break apart. So some locations could see a quick one to two inches of rain, others not a drop, and then much cooler tomorrow. And there may be a few rain showers here from Kansas City South, heavier rain down to the south possibly. We'll see if it come a little farther north, we could get another 10th to a half inch of rain tomorrow morning, but most likely to our south. Then whether it rains a little bit tomorrow morning or not, beautiful weather in the afternoon. Temperatures tomorrow will be in the 70s. 75 degrees, heat relief, 56 in Springfield, Missouri, because the rain will be down there. If it were to rain here all day, we would be in the 50s and low 60s, but I think rain will move off and it'll become mostly sunny during the afternoon. So let's take a look at the forecast for today. Scattered morning showers, a few thunderstorms, mainly to our north. And breezy, hot, and humid, 95. And then tonight, a strong summer cold front. Summer begins, 1032. Scattered thunderstorms, some could be strong after 6 p.m., down to 62. And then tomorrow, chance of that morning rain, much, much cooler, 75 degrees. And then on the seven day forecast, great weather Tuesday, 53. Tuesday morning, if you miss the rain, the next two days, the next chance is Thursday. Jeff, thank you. It is Father's Day, and one stay-at-home dad wants to set the record straight on his role in the house. Hear from him next. It's about time to watch on your time. Not just when news is on air, but streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can stream on this, or this, or maybe even like this. At this time, or that time, or any time. 41 Action News. It's about time we fit into your schedule. Streaming local news 24-7. Search 41 Action News on your device. A little boy with a bright future ahead of him. Gone, but never forgotten. The bill named after this KCK boy is now law. Demanding his legacy remains alive. It's the result of several 41 Action News investigations. Making sure this never happens to others. This is why we follow stories like this. You have no idea how much it's meant to me to have you stand by me, you know? To give the voiceless a voice. It starts with a plan and getting out the door on time. Every day, we're helping you start your morning. Good morning, welcome back to 41 Action News today. With the news, the Missouri National Guard, and conversations that hit home. Rich history. With the forecast to plan your day. Storms start to develop. A smooth commute. Plenty of extra time. Your next new job. They need you. And with something fun that is true KC. How are ya? It's the best way to start your morning. 41 Action News today, 4.30 to 7 a.m. Great with cupcakes. Coffee? That's right. It's two great things put together. 
Just Like Friends and Two Broke Girls. Hello! Now that I see it, I have to have it. And you'll have to have Kansas City's favorite late night delight. Okay, I'm trying that. My willingness to eat anything finally pays off! <laughs> Save room for coffee and cupcakes with Friends and Two Broke Girls. Watch weeknights starting at 9, only on 38 The Spot. Well, today is Father's Day and one stay-at-home dad here in Kansas City wants to make sure and make it clear that what he does at home is not babysitting. It's just all about being a dad. And 41 Action News anchor Ray Daniel has more about I like your dad shirt today. It's well done. <laughs> we all know this shirt. The ones only dads can pull off. My favorite Hawaiian shirt. I know. He looks good, doesn't he? <laughs> I always look good. Friends, Mick and Shannon, are stay-at-home fathers. They're a part of the group, KC Dads. I went to a mom's group once or twice. Most of them weren't accepting dads as members at that time. But it was very, very lonely until I found my KC Dads. And then everything changed. A group that's been Shannon Carpenter's other support system. And you get a chance to have that mentor right then and learn those skills as you go, but also have that emotional mental support to keep you going through the grind of parenting, especially after 13 years. 13 years, Shannon Carpenter has been a stay-at-home parent. I wasn't laid off from my job. I wasn't forced into this. Most of us are not. Um, I became a stay-at-home dad because it was the right move for my family. A move his daughter enjoys. My mom, my mom is always there too, like no matter what. So it is nice to have like a father figure whatever I do and like he's always supporting no matter what whether it's learning breeding Wait, oh I, I got the ice cream playing games or even the adventures here we do what we call it as a dad's trip a trip with five dads and 16 kids and we pick a direction and we just go we road trip no moms um, just dads and kids and it's those memories Carpenter hopes his children will always remember. It's more than cleaning a house. It's more than cooking. It's creating those memories that they will have when they really need them when life is hard. So next time you may hear husbands are just helping their spouse. He's my dad, and he's as much as a parent as anyone else is. I'm not helping mom out. I'm not giving her a break. I'm doing my job. And even though we may already know all the jokes. What do you call a broken, uh, broken boomerang? A stick. A stick. <laughs> they know all my jokes now. No one can tell them quite like dad. He's a super charismatic, funny guy that really kind of understands anyone. And that's super nice to have in our life. Everyone needs someone like that. Ray Daniel, 41 Action News. Right now, Carpenter is working on a book which will feature advice from more than 50 dads across the country. Preventing violent crime. After the break, we'll introduce you to the group working to get in more people involved in being a solution to a long-standing problem. It is 76 degrees here in Kansas City. Cold front. We are tracking to the north, 50s. Here it comes. It's in the Dakotas. When will it arrive? Will we see any rain? Talk about that coming up. It's about time to watch on your time. Not just when news is on air, but streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can stream on this, or this, or maybe even like this. At this time, or that time, or any time. 41 Action News. It's about time we fit into your schedule. Streaming local news 24-7. Search 41 Action News on your device. 
bright future ahead of him. Gone, but never forgotten. The bill named after this KCK boy is now law. Demanding his legacy remains alive. It's the result of several 41 Action News investigations. Making sure this never happens to others. This is why we follow stories like this. You have no idea how much it's meant to me to have you stand by me, you know? To give the voiceless a voice. It starts with a plan and getting out the door on time. Every day, we're helping you start your morning. Good morning. Welcome back to 41 Action News today. With the news. Military National Guard. And conversations that hit home. Rich with the forecast to plan your day. Storms start to develop. A smooth commute. Plenty of extra time. Your next new job. They need you. And with something fun that is true KC. How are ya? It's the best way to start your morning. 41 Action News today, 4.30 to 7 a.m. Great with cupcakes. Coffee? That's right. It's two great things put together. Just like friends and two broke girls. Ta -da! Now that I see it, I have to have it. And you'll have to have Kansas City's favorite late night delight. Okay, I'm trying that. My willingness to eat anything finally pays off. <laughs> They've room for coffee and cupcakes with friends and two broke girls. Watch weeknights starting at 9 only on 38 The Spot. Watching 41 Action News. Almost 6.30 on the Sunday morning. Welcome back to 41 Action News. I'm Bryant Madrick. As you start your Sunday, let's get another check of the forecast. Hot yesterday and today, another repeat, Jeff. Another hot day, but a change at the end of the day and tonight. All right. So that tomorrow will not be a hot day. Let's take a look right now at our Bordner Home Improvement Skyview Network. It is partly to mostly cloudy out there and dry on the plaza. Right now it is 76 KCI, 79 downtown, 75 in Olathe. The heavier rain and thunderstorms are up in northern Missouri right now. Chillicothe to Bethany northward, moving north. And for us, we've been tracking rain to our west and to our east. The rain to our east went to the northwest. The rain to our west went to the northeast, missing our area. Oh, well, we got clipped by a few showers and thunderstorms, but that was a weird setup. And now there's just one little area of showers that's going to move through or sprinkles. And we have been protected this severe weather season. Thank goodness, no complaints. Same thing yesterday, flooding and damaging winds in eastern Missouri and hail, damaging winds in central and northwest Kansas. We here in our viewing area, completely protected. So again, same old weather pattern we have been dealing with will continue through the summer. but. It has been producing rain from time to time. Hopefully we'll get some here in the next week to 10 days. Thunderstorms right now north of Trenton into Kirksville. Much needed rain up there. And off to the west, there's this last disturbance, Topeka to Emporia. That'll move by in the next couple of hours, maybe a sprinkle or a rain shower. And then it's going to get hot and then a cold front. We'll time it out. How much rain will we, are we expecting? We'll have all the new data coming up. Jeff, thank you. Missouri voters approved Medicaid expansion in the state, but state lawmakers did not fund it. Now the issue goes to court. This morning, 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts here in the studio with a closer look at what led up to this point. Jordan? Yeah, they will go to court actually tomorrow. Three Missouri residents filed a lawsuit against the state to push the expansion forward. But until the matter is settled in court, thousands of people will be left without health care. The goal of the lawsuit is to get Missouri to expand the program and allow newly eligible people to enroll starting July 1st. The hearing of the expansion is tomorrow. Last August, 53% of voters in Missouri 
majority voted in favor of Medicaid expansion. Now, it allows anyone from 19 to 64 years old to be eligible. Now, there is only one income requirement. You must make less than 138% of the federal poverty line. For a single adult, that means under $18,000. For a family of four, it's about $37,000, $37,500. But under the Affordable Care Act, the federal government did agree to pay 90% of the cost when it expanded the coverage. The state of Missouri will be left to pay that other 10%. But last month, the General Assembly declined to pr provide funding and the legislative session ended. Health insurance, we know, is not cheap and it can cost families upwards of more than $10,000. And to be just above that with the idea that somehow then you could also go out and afford to buy health insurance somewhere is staggering. Many people in Missouri spend that amount of money alone a year on health insurance for family coverage and for high quality health insurance. So <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a, it's a conundrum. Okay. But that's a, a fair description. There is no coverage for single adults without dependents. And I really do in some ways think that's the lightning rod here. The lawsuit claims the governor and lawmakers are failing to uphold the Missouri Constitution. The state, Ad state attorney general, Derek, uh, Eric Schmidt, will represent the state in this lawsuit. In the studio, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. Jordan, thank you. Officers found a teen shot and killed in KCK early Saturday morning. Now they're trying to find out who did it. This happened on Barber Court near 40th Street around 1:20 Saturday morning. A neighbor heard an argument, then three or four shots fired. If you know anything about this case, call the TIPS hotline. That number, 816-474-8477. Meanwhile, family and friends of a man killed four years ago hope to lead police to the tip they need to bring justice for their family. Family and friends of Therese Harris spent the day Saturday knocking on doors and handing out flyers in the area of 71st and Cleveland. All of this to see if anyone remembers something from the day he was killed. I came in town from out of town so we could do this. And actually today is his daughter's, his baby daughter's birthday. He was killed on her birthday. So it's, it's hard for us because we have to try to figure out a way to celebrate her birthday, but yet not celebrate his death. Ad hoc group against crime helped canvas the neighborhood. Once again, if you know anything about this unsolved homicide, we'll say it again. Call the tips hotline. The number 816-474-8477. 816-474-TIPS. And a reminder that your tip will remain anonymous and any tip leading to an arrest and homicides in the city is worth up to $25,000. A group of old school crime fighters wants to renew their efforts to make an impact on this community and they hope to make their next steps today. They're called Keeping Communities on Guard or KCOG. Marcus Williams says that his life turned around when he met the group and wants others to find a life outside of crime and find mentors. Lamar Vickers is the co-founder and says one way to help prevent violent crime is through conflict resolution. We're looking for mentors. We look for referees, people that want to be involved in the sports league. We are into arts and entertainment. If you're not around the people that can help you see within yourself, Looking up outside yourself, you you automatically gonna fail. In the moment that they came over with, uh, the violence started to spike. Robbery, crime, homicide started to spike immediately. And so, uh, when there's no way that you can feed your family, uh, as a man, uh, especially in this community, there's no limits of what you would do to go feed your family. The KCOGs are having a community call out today. Father's Day at the 24-hour Faith Training Center at 24th and Park it goes from eight. PM goes from 1 to 8 PM. The group is looking for people who want to mentor, volunteer as a referee for a sporting league, or even provide jobs. They hope to make this a recurring event. The mayor of Kansas City, Kansas, made a proclamation declaring June 19th Father's Day Eve. The group made men hosted an event honoring that recognition. People who participated say it's important to celebrate fathers and father figures. You have stepfathers, you have, you know, uncles that step in, you have grandfathers that step in. Uh, you know, re really any male figure that can step into a child's life um, and show him or, or her, but particularly the, the males in the family, you know, what it is to, to be a man and what it is to be a father and, um, you know, how that pertains and how that relates to our community. People who are participated watched a movie about fatherhood and reflected on the importance of kids having male role models. 
Time right now, 636. A fire in Greenwood is serving as a reminder to properly put out things like cigarettes after smoking. The Lee Summit Fire Department responded to a house fire late yesterday afternoon. The fire had started on a deck. Everyone got out safely and firefighters controlled the fire within minutes. The house had only minor damage. The fire department said it believes discarded smoking materials in a flower pot caused the fire. Shawnee police say they have a suspect in custody as they investigate an arson. Firefighters responded early yesterday afternoon on 59th Terrace east of Neiman. Investigators said there was a lot of damage to a detached garage. No one was hurt. Saturday was Juneteenth. Celebrations highlighted black owned businesses in the metro, including the grand opening of the bookstore Black and Brown. So on 39th Street near Baltimore, each book has a QR code and once you scan it, it leads you to playlists, pictures, videos, and interviews. The owner spoke about her inspiration. I'm an avid reader. I get a lot of people that are like, oh, I want to read more, and don't necessarily have the upbringing or like had the chance to read a lot of books that have stories about black and brown people. So created this um, bookstore. Well, Smith encourages book lovers to come with an open mind, ready to learn and celebrate black and brown authors. For much of this week, AMC theaters will continue to show black-led films in honor of Juneteenth. Audiences can see Harriet, Do the Right Thing, Love and Basketball, and other classics for just $5. Spokesperson for the Leewood-based theater chain says they put together this showcase of black-led films, not necessarily for audiences, but more so for the employees. There's a lot that's happening just to shift um, the way that we talk and celebrate films and then also the cultural significance behind those films and then largely as as you know more structurally as as, to, as we talk about our makeup as an organization we're also having those really good and and foundational discussions about how we become a more equitable uh, a more inclusive organization there will be extra showings through Thursday. Most of the AMC theaters in our area are participating. Well, summer starts today, and we're helping celebrate in a big way this week. The Today Show's Al Roker will try to set another world record on Monday by hosting an online weather reporting video relay. You'll see shots from Honolulu, Clearwater Beach in Florida, Las Vegas, and right here in Kansas City. And our very own meteorologist Lindsay Anderson is going to help Al set that record with her own live weather report. You can watch her tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. during that 7 o'clock hour of the Today Show and also on our website KSHB.com. So that definitely will be something we will be watching, rooting Lindsay on as she gives her forecast to the nation in this effort. That's great. Of course, we'll be talking hopefully about some cooler weather because today it's going to be another hot one, Jeff. She is going to be talking about some weather that we have not seen here in a while, and we'll be talking about that coming up. And we had some interesting thunderstorm complexes last night, same from the east and from the west, but they all merged to our north. So we didn't get much rain around here. A lot of locations do need some rain. There is some in the forecast with a strong summer cold front. Summer begins at 1032. We'll look at all the new data, 1032 p.m., We'll look at the new data coming up. Jeff, thank you. A surge in COVID-19 patients has health officials at one Missouri hospital warning they may have to send patients to other facilities. Cox Health facilities in Springfield are currently treating 79 patients for COVID-19. That's five times the number of patients compared to last month. Nurses say they are physically and emotionally drained from having to go through another surge. They're putting themselves in harm's way to protect people that could have protected themselves because virtually every single patient in the hospital with COVID um, is not completely vaccinated. Cox Health is not planning to scale back its services, which is why health officials are considering diverting some patients. Unlike previous months, the two main health systems in Springfield do not have as many traveling nurses and respiratory therapists available to care for COVID-19 patients. Health officials say the faster spreading Delta variant is the reason for a recent increase in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations throughout Southwest Missouri. Webster County's vaccine rate sits at just 26%, one of the lowest in the country. Health leaders warn the low vaccination rate could lead to more people dying. We have Independence Day coming up. And that's one less family member that's going to be celebrating Independence Day. That's one less family member that's going to be sitting around the Christmas table this year. Since the beginning of June, 226 new COVID cases have been added, making Webster County a hotspot. Health officials urge people to get vaccinated. 
Here's another live look at Kansas City on this Sunday morning, 75 degrees. It's 641 right now, and if you're just waking up, good morning. And to all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. 41 Action News continues after the break. It's about time to watch on your time. Not just when news is on air, but streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can stream on this, or this, or maybe even like this. At this time, or that time, or any time. 41 Action News. It's about time we fit into your schedule. Streaming local news 24-7. Search 41 Action News on your device. A little boy with a bright future ahead of him. Gone, but never forgotten. The bill named after this KCK boy is now law. Demanding his legacy remains alive. It's the result of several 41 Action News investigations. Making sure this never happens to others. This is why we follow stories like this. You have no idea how much it's meant to me to have you stand by me, you know? To give the voiceless a voice. It starts with a plan and getting out the door on time. Every day, we're helping you start your morning. Good morning. Welcome back to 41 Action News today. With the news Military National Guard. and conversations that hit home. Rich history. With the forecast to plan your day. Storms start to develop. A smooth commute. Plenty of extra time. Your next new job. They need you. And with something fun that is true KC. How are ya? It's the best way to start your morning. 41 Action News today, 4.30 to 7 a.m. Great with cupcakes. Coffee? That's right. It's two great things put together. Just like friends and two broke girls. Ta -da! Now that I see it, I have to have it. And you'll have to have Kansas City's favorite late night delight. Okay, I'm trying that. My willingness to eat anything finally pays off. Save room for coffee and cupcakes with friends and two broke girls. Watch weeknights starting at 9 only on 38 The Spot. An unbeaten streak has come to an end for Sporting Kansas City. They tried to extend it last night in Portland. Sporting got on the board first last night. Alan Polito had the ball near the net. He passed to Jalen Lindsay, who found the net in the 28th minute to give Sporting the one to nothing lead. However, Portland responded with two goals later in the half, including one in extra time at the end of the half. That was the difference in the two to one match. Sporting will host Colorado on Wednesday. For more sports, here's Aaron Ladd. June 19th, a holiday of reflection and celebration. The KC Sports World using their platforms on Saturday to speak on what Juneteenth means to them. As the world continues to heal. We'll get back to the sports report a little later on in this newscast. Meanwhile, let's move to some weather. The impacts of a tropical storm now, remnants of a tropical depression down south. Claudette, her name, continues to so much of the southeast. This is Tuscaloosa County in Alabama. Flooded areas throughout the evening Saturday night as the storm dumped heavy rain. The National Weather Service reported nearly four inches of rain that fell at the Tuscaloosa airport in less than three hours. Few drivers found themselves unable to get out of stalled vehicles and floodwaters leading to rescues. Officials say there have been no storm related injuries reported. Here's your latest Kansas City forecast from meteorologist Jeff Penner. Good morning. Happy Father's Day. Fortunately, Claudette came as a June tropical system, and so the waters aren't warm enough for a big hurricane. But based on the LRC, that means in September, this could pattern will return. And at that time, the waters are much warmer. So not over with yet for Louisiana this season. And as we take a look right now, community builders of Kansas City Skyview over the K, taking dad out to the game today. It's going to be a hot one. 1 at 10 p.m. is the start. 76 degrees right now. Two hundredths of an inch is all that fell at KCI. We are tracking thunderstorms to our east. They went to the northwest. 
There are storms to our west and went to our northeast and kind of merged in Iowa. Much needed rain up there, but rain is needed down here as well. And maybe we'll get some tonight, but again, I'm concerned about coverage. And this is a prime example, four to seven inches of rain from southeast of Chillicothe all the way to Columbia, Missouri, southwest of Moberly, almost seven inches of rain. Trace in Kirksville, two inches Maryville, Trace in St. Joseph. These are radar estimated totals. Nothing in Olathe. Olathe, many locations have seen just a trace of rain this month. So we could use more rain. There's some in the forecast. Talk about that here with this cold front coming up right now. Much needed rain continues north of Trenton to Kirksville, up into Iowa, and a few rain showers from Maryville to north of St. Joseph. We're watching this little disturbance right here. Looks like it's increased just a little bit. It'll move east, bring a little bit of sprinkly rain to Kansas City in the next couple of hours. <clears throat> then it's going to turn breezy, hot, and humid. And you can see here on the last frame or so, it's increasing coverage just a little bit. There's a little disturbance going by, but not much significant rain with that. And we saw this here a uh, few minutes ago. There's a tropical system called Det. There is a complex to our, moving to our, from our, to our east, moving west, in our west, moving northeast, and kind of bypassed the Kansas City area. What will not bypass our area is the cooler air. That is going to hit everybody. We're all going to get affected by that. So 95 today, 99 in Salina, but 72 this afternoon in Valentine, Nebraska. That front will come through around 5 to 10 p.m. And at 5 p.m., look at this, not a cloud in the sky. And between about 6 and 9 p.m., Thunderstorms will form. Some could contain some hail, some stronger winds, but watch what happens after 9 p.m. Kind of breaks up. So some locations could get a quick inch of rain, others not a drop. Cooler air will come in tomorrow. There's another little area of rain 